Hello ladies and gentlemen, we are in Newman Lake, Washington, my friend Ken. <laughs> Hi everybody in YouTube land. <laughs> so we're getting prepared here, he's got a 36 pound thrust, Minn Kota, got to go with the Minn Kota. He's got a little plug there, and you're a, you're a steer by wire guy, huh? Yep, I'm a steer by, actually I don't have any springs in this like some guys do. Yeah. Instead I just use real springy rope. Oh yeah, yeah. It seems to work just fine. Just like some paracord, paracord or I guess paracords, exactly yeah. It is, it's just kind of, just has a little bit of spring factor to it. Yeah. You got a little battery box in there. And he's got a cool little idea here. Got a jump pack for uh, emergency get back to land if the battery dies. Super small and light. It's got a little cargo light on it. Battery goes in the back. Got here as a crawfish or crawdad. Crawfish, crawdad. Crawfish. Mud bugs. Mud bugs. <laughs> that doesn't make them sound any more appetizing. Whoever mud thought, bugs. Whoever thought, the first guy that thought, well, saw one of them mud bugs and says, I'm going to eat that. <laughs> I don't know. Man. <laughs> but it's basically like a freshwater shrimp or uh, cr uh, lobster. Lobster, okay. Lobster, lobster. How about how big? Like, Smaller than your hand? Or? I've actually caught them to that size, Jeez. and that's without the claws. Jeez. But the most ones you get around here are about like that, and they're the signal crawdad, and they got a little spot right there in their in their things. You got a little, uh, looks like some hardware for a cabinet door, a drawer. maybe? Drawer, oh, yeah, yeah, for your Brody knob. Got some switches, and is this your speed knob here? That's my speed knob, and yeah. then the way I've got it wired up is uh, the bottom switch does the lights, Okay. And then the top switch, if I start running out of power, I can just shut that down and everything else but oh. the motor shuts down. Okay. Oh, except not the motor. Okay. Yep. So if you need to conserve. Exactly. Yeah, gotcha. My, uh, I don't know if you saw my last video, but my propeller is a little close to the surface, so it cavitates a little bit. <laughs> but it winds up kind of making a cool engine noise. Just like a brrrr. But we'll see. Try to move the battery closer to the back. So he's baiting it up. What do you got for bait there? A little cat food? Pink salmon. So we just dropped our little crawdad pot in there. We'll come and check it later. How long till you think you want to check it? Just a couple hours. A couple hours? Okay. Now I'm ready to rock. And we're off to rock and roll. Little Miss Sally. Turned into a Little Miss uh, Z, what was Zella. it? Zella. Little Miss Zella. Yeah, named after his late grandmother. What did that lady say? What did she say about these? The most oh, cutest, cutest thing she's... The little thing she ever did see. <laughs> so, I'm not sitting on the bottom of my boat. I have slats going across that I actually put a stadium seat on and screwed the, the, that to the slats and then screwed those to my boat. Then I take a, uh, a little cushion that, that you can get at Walmart. It's got an inner tube inside of it and it's just comfortable as heck. So, I can ride around all day. I got a nice back thing to put my back against. Yeah. And it's really comfortable. Like you said, my maternal grandmother, Zella Fi, who was a nurse in Coeur d'Alene, uh, was the nurse at my birth, and she also taught nursing at NIC. That's crazy she was at your birth. Yeah, she was the attending nurse, yeah. So yeah, because of her passing, I was given a little bit of money, and I decided to build this boat and name it after her. Nice. How long did it take you? About two years, and if I... Uh, would have known about the flexi seal it would have been done in one yeah because so the, the fiberglass i had to take it outside for and i had to wait until it warmed up yeah so you did do fiberglass on it too there's fiberglass also yeah yeah i think i can edges. see it just on on the bottoms uh-huh yeah that's pretty much where i do it the whole floor actually i try to do yeah but uh a little collision there so we're gonna go pick up our crawdad trap here in a couple minutes yeah yeah, you got the cooler in the back, and then you got some dash. You got some accessories in there, like a 
Um, cigarette lighter. Oh, yeah, I got my cigarette lighter in here. It's got like a USB charger on it or something. I hooked it up backwards so the USB <laughs> charger actually doesn't work anymore. So don't do that if you do put a USB <laughs> charger in your boat like that. <laughs> Tip 102. The tube will work so you can plug in one you get from the dollar store. Oh, yeah, yeah. Nice dollar store stuff like my little speaker where I just took the little battery pack and speaker off of the little box from Ross or TJ Maxx or wherever. Oh, how many times do you have to turn it to uh, to go all the way right or all the way left? All the way right or all the way left? Yeah, how many times? So, one, two, three. Three times. Three times lock to lock. Okay. And that's from 90 degrees back to turned or whatever. A little bit over 90 degrees. Yeah. I made it so it worked a little bit over. Yeah. How much do you have to just like adjust it? If you let go, will it go pretty much straight? Yeah, I'm aiming at that thing. So yeah, it goes pretty much straight. Yeah. It tracks pretty well. A little bit of adjustment here and there. I gotta adjust mine quite a bit or quite often. almost constantly but I also don't have a fin underneath my trolling motor do you have one on yours mine's busted but there's a yeah. little bit of a fin there yeah mine has like maybe an eighth of a fin just nothing when, when I build the one for mine I'll see about getting one for you too yeah that'd be sweet I also have oh like a little replacement to put on there yeah just a little clamp on replacement thing I'm thinking about building that'd be a good idea I wonder how much difference it would make in I don't know how beautiful is this day today? This is an awesome day. It's not even really too hot, is it? No. Not yet. About perfect. I have a white shirt on. That helps. Yeah. That helps. What's the longest you've gone out at a stretch? Um, I took a, a tour up the Spokane River, and I probably was out for about four or five hours, but I had my deep cycle battery then working good. Were you were you uh, under power the most of the time? Most of the time, yeah. Yeah. It's pretty good. I've also been out to a couple of lakes where I was I was uh, under power for a considerable amount of time, but I'm not sure how long. Yeah. So you... I just got to figure out a way to to charge them while I'm out, and that's a whole nother boat. Yeah. I'm gonna make an actual charging boat that has solar panels on it. Yeah, we're all talking about that, really. Yeah. I'm thinking they're going about twenty. Twenty. If this has nothing in it, don't put it on YouTube. Yeah. Failure. Nothing. I can't believe that. Oh, uh, he caught some pink salmon. <laughs> pink salmon. Sorry, bud. It's all good. Built the last made in America. I think I'm going to go put it right off the dock there. I'm still going to hang out. Yeah. You got fish down there? Yeah, just a little sunfish. About 50 pounds each kind of even though. <laughs> <sighs> All right. Now I got to wind it up. Hey, do you know where we can go swimming at? Yeah, right there. Right here? Yeah. Where do we pay it? Uh, you don't. Right? That's free? Yeah. Because you can just park right here and swim. Like, there's a little swimming dock right there. Propeller drag? Nope. Actually, it was your, uh, your bobber. Is that what's okay?